What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Toville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy, the Destroyer Ruiz. Get this, Andy Ruiz not impressed with Anthony Joshua's win over Otto Wileen. And this is what he had to say. He said it was an opponent that he was supposed to beat up, Ruiz told Boxing News. Somebody that doesn't have that much skills. Wow. Um, he said... I would like to see him fight somebody that has a lot of skills or someone like me. <laughs> Those are the words of Andy Ruiz and let me counterpunch. Um, Andy's supposed to say that. And I think that a lot of people uh, shit on AJ in hindsight. Okay. See, we can't help that Otto Vileen quit. We can't help he quit. We can't help that, you know, he didn't, I don't know if he came to win. I mean, the, the way he fought, I just, I just think he, he went in there expecting another AJ. He went in there expecting a distracted person or a person that was, that had too many uh, issues coming into the ring. He went in there fighting a person that was that he was feeling that was mentally weak or mentally disturbed or, you know, past his prime or someone that is stiff and bothered. He thought that this was the worst version of AJ that he was going to fight. That's why he thought he had a chance, even though he asked for that fight for the last couple of years, especially when uh, Joshua was getting beat years back to back. Uh, by Alexander Usyk, another Southpaw. So yeah, he, you know, Otto Wileen thought these type of things, just talking about Otto Wileen's chances and what he uh, expected versus what he got. What he got was an ass kicking machine that was ready to put his ass down. That's what he was about. And he knew, let me quit for this dude really embarrasses me in days of reckoning because I would be the dude flat out knocked out on the floor because I'm already busted up, bleeding, broken nose, probably broken orbital bone. I'm not sure about that. This hasn't been verified, but broken something. Something has broken my face from this man hitting me in my face. You know, upside my head, to my jaw, to my gut, everywhere he could hit me, he's been hitting me. You know what I mean? And, and yes, he can punch. So yes, I'm in trouble. But understand Based on what Andy Ruiz is saying, like, oh, well, I wish he had someone with skills. Otto Wileen has skills. He just doesn't have punching power. And I don't think it's right to shit on Otto Wileen now to make AJ look bad. That's what people are doing. That's what they're doing. And we all know about Andy. Andy's been begging for a fight with AJ forever. So he's never going to give AJ credit for fighting any opponent besides himself. And in fact, he's saying, hey, he should fight someone like me. Listen, Andy, he fought you twice. Okay. And be blessed that you had it last year. You matter of fact, why don't you uh, praise your big half brother or whatever, your cousin Jarrell Miller, for giving you the opportunity because if it wasn't for him messing up, you wouldn't have had any chance of doing anything. You would have still been waiting on the roster of Al Heyman waiting for a fight like he was and it would have been no fight near the magnitude of Anthony Joshua, okay? And then when you beat him and everybody's like, oh my God, okay. At that point, you should have not let that go to your head and you deserved, you didn't deserve to be there. You showed that. You showed that you didn't deserve to be there. You showed that, oh, all I needed to get some money so I can become a fat ass or fatter ass slob, hang out with people that got money like you're going to keep it forever, right? And allow that to distract you from what you recently had. That's all Andy has. That's all ha Andy has done. He's beat up an old Luis Ortiz after running from him for two years. Then you fought a 40-year-old Chris Ariola where you got dropped. Okay, and almost got upset in California after hanging out a year and a half. Okay, so Andy can't talk about nobody. Yes, Andy has skills, but Andy is getting besides himself. He's been besides himself ever since he beat AJ the first time. And you did nothing in the rematch coming in at three, probably 300 pounds. Let's be real. That man came in at 283.5 or something. Okay, this man was like... <clears throat> Damn near 10 pounds from 300. And you know he was probably about 300. Or he had lost some weight and he was probably about big baby's size. Because he was a, man, he was, you man, you, 
His neck was like this, right? So <clears throat> listen, people, Andrew Ruiz talking about Otto Wileen having no skills. Otto Wileen at least stayed where he needed to do to get where he eventually got, where you received it and you didn't know how to act going further than Otto Wileen ever did, okay? And you have to earn another shot with Anthony Joshua, which you haven't been able to do. And the man that beat you in New Zealand, okay, upset the guy that you supposed to fought this year, which was Deontay Wilder. So him saying, oh, well, you know, he needs to fight someone like, with skills like me. Well, you have to really show yourself credible once again to deserve the opportunity to fight someone like AJ versus what the hell you've been doing going back and forth with Deontay Wilder over social media, over a fight that should have happened since you guys are on the same team, right? That's my counterpunch. You guys tell me what you think about Andy Ruiz. Not impressed with AJ's performance against Otto Wileen. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.